All right, YouTube, I don't know how well this is gonna show up in the video, but um, there's a tree limb up here that's been rubbing on um, my parents' house. And my father, like 40 years ago, bought this extension pole cutter that's way beefier than anything made currently. And uh, it's tall, I mean, it's, you can see where this thing goes from here all the way to basically the top of the house and I mean it's not touching quite the ground it's probably one or two feet off the ground but it's not a big deal I currently have the uh, jaws hanging on this limb and I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the limb and get it off get it off the roof right there so it's a great tool and definitely paying for itself right now I'll show you what it looks like after I cut it let me show you what this apparatus looks like up in here. So I've already cut quite a few limbs uh, today with it in this particular tree. I mean, this thing handles some pretty sizable limbs. That's easily an inch thick, maybe an inch and a quarter. And you can see where it's kind of cleaned up. It's no longer brushing the house. And this big limb is going to be the hardest one because it's the thickest. But I got a piece of PVC pipe that I will wrap around the cutting cord when I cut it. So. Things pretty beefy and assuming I had more sections I could make it go higher but I only have three sections for it so it's awesome all right I just cut it um, is awesome you can see that that's gone now it's no longer rubbing the roof and it's a significant limb it's almost an inch and a half in diameter and I was able to, instead of having the rope cut into my hand, I uh, put the rope, the cutting rope, through um, this piece of conduit pipe. Use it like as a pulling handle, and it just snipped right through this guy. And this is the kind of limb to cut at this height where you pay like a professional to come out and cut this limb to get it off your roof. I mean, I don't know how much it costs, but. It would not be cheap. So, anyway, it gets it off the roof. And these little small ones that are kind of shrouding the roof but not touching it, I'm gonna leave there, but these big guys are gone. All right, so I've cut that limb off. There's one that appears to be touching, but it's not. It's like two feet above it, but um, you can kind of see some damage. Not really damage, but where, like right here, right there, that looks like there's a chipped piece of the roof uh, shingle. I'm gonna trim it up slightly here, along through here, I just so those limbs don't touch. But uh, man, that that pole uh, whopper is awesome. All right, so I measured it. This thing's 18 feet long. It's called a snap cut. It's made by Seymour Smith and Son, Oakville, Connecticut, 06779. Once again, this was purchased about 40 years ago. And it's awesome. It's not plastic, it's like oak and metal. It's got this beefy <clears throat> pull arm lopper on it with this rope, this bicycle chain. And like I said, I like to add this uh, piece of pipe to it so I can pull with it without the rope cutting into my hand.
and you can see where I was able to cut high up in the canopy and get those limbs off the roof. I think it's going to work for us. It doesn't really change the way it views from the street. It totally gets those off the roof, which is what we wanted. Not having to pay a tree surface, you know, hundreds of dollars to do it. Thanks for watching.